So my scenario um, looks at the intentional rounding. Whilst on placement, I've witnessed the intentional rounding being implemented as part of the Thousand Lives Transforming Care. Whilst on a busy acute medical ward, many patients were identified as being needed, needing this intentional rounding. So intentional rounding is going up to a patient, asking them if they're okay, communicating with them, but also looking at the positioning and the integrity of their skin. The introduction of the whiteboards at the end of the base for when this intentional round should take place has helped. However, I actually identifying these patients, um, I found, was quite troublesome. I spoke to a few staff members, um, nursing staff and healthcare support workers, and they too felt that, you know, sometimes it was a bit hard to identify which patients needed turning. Intentional rounding doesn't just look at communication. The most important thing is the pressure areas. Currently, if a grade three or four pressure area evolves on the ward, it is a POVA. So this is quite an important thing why we're looking after the um, patients. Positioning of the patients is also important. And um, it's documented on the intentional rounding sheet what position the patient's lying in, sitting, or whether they've actually stood up. Mouth care is also in, um, documented. And they look at, obviously, whether the mouth's moist, or whether they've had a drink, or whether they're actually needing an additional food to help with nutrition. The environment around the bed is also important to help prevent falls. This is an intentional rounding sheet. Um, it's filled in um, by the staff members, um, registered nurses, and healthcare support workers. It's also looked at whether the patient needs them um, checking every two hours or three hourly. And, um, it runs throughout the day. Normally they do it at 6, 8, 10, 12, and this runs throughout the day. As you can see, it shows you where it is, what position the patient's lying on, and also the incontinence or the toilet needs of that patient. And it also includes making sure that the patient's comfortable. So if the patient has got a pressure area that's becoming a bit sore, that they can voice that concern to you, and then you can become aware of it 